Hello friends, welcome to Dream Weaver Crocheting with Love. In today's tutorial, I am going to teach you how to crochet this baby hat. Now this hat I have done for a 12 to 18 months old baby. But in this tutorial, we will be working the same hat for a 6 to 12 month old baby. The pattern stitch that I have used to make this hat is referred to as a bubble stitch. So let's see how this is worked out. The materials that we need in order to make this uh, baby hat are a 3.5 mm crochet hook. I have taken this cream color yarn to make this hat and scissors. So let's begin. To start up with this hat, we will first make a magic circle. And into this magic circle, we will be working 6 sets of double crochet clusters separated with chain 1 spaces. So now we will be making the first double crochet clusters of 3 double crochets together. So this is the first double crochet worked halfway. Again yarn over, insert and go to the first two loops. This will be the second double crochet worked halfway since we are not completing it. Again yarn over, insert, pull up a loop and go to the first two loops. Now we have four loops on our hook. Yarn over and go through all the four loops. So in this way we have clubbed three double crochets together to form a single stitch. Now work one chain. So this is the first set that we have done. Now again we will be repeating this process for five more times. So this is the second double crochet cluster followed by one chain. So just continue with this sequence till you have in total six sets of double crochet clusters separated with chain 1 spaces. So after working the last set of double crochet cluster, I have worked one chain. Now in order to complete the first round, slip stitch on top of the first double crochet cluster work. So that completes our first round. Now in order to start up with the second round, slip stitch inside the chain 1 space between the two clusters and the sequence of this round is to work double crochet cluster increases into each of the chain 1 spaces that is we will be working two double crochet clusters into each of the chain 1 spaces. So going to the first chain 1 space work one cluster. So here I am done with the first cluster followed by one chain. Now going back to the same stitch again work one more cluster. So in this way I have worked uh, two clusters into the same space. Now work one chain. Now moving to the next chain one space repeat the same So in this way we will be working increases into each of the chain 1 spaces and one important thing that you should remember is that between each of the double crochet clusters we should work one chain. So just continue with this pattern till the end of the round. So after working the last double crochet cluster I have worked one chain and slip stitch on top of the first double crochet cluster work. So that completes our uh, second round. Now by end of the second round we have in total 12 double crochet clusters separated with 12 chain 1 spaces. Now as you are making the first 3 to 4 rows the design of this uh, pattern won't be very clear but as you work through further rows you can see the pattern stitch becoming more prominent. Now let's work with the third row. For that slip stitch inside the chain 1 space between the double crochet clusters and the sequence of this round is to work one double crochet cluster into the first stitch followed by an increase that is two double crochet cluster into the next chain 1 space. 
so work one chain and going to the same space work one double crochet cluster followed by one chain so i've done with the first double crochet cluster i'm going to the next chain one space i'll be working two double crochet cluster into the same space so this is the sequence of this round working one double crochet cluster into the first chain one space followed by an increase that is two double crochet cluster into the next chain one space and you should see to that all the double crochet clusters are separated with chain one spaces so just continue with this pattern till the end of the round so into the last chain one space i have worked a two double crochet clusters followed by one chain and to end this round slip stitch on top of the first double crochet cluster work so that completes our third round and by end of the third round i have 18 double crochet clusters separated with 18 chain one spaces now for the fourth round slip stitch into the chain one space and the sequence of this round is to work one double crochet clusters into the first two chain one spaces and into the third chain one space we'll be working an increase that is two double crochet cluster into the same space So work one chain and going to the same space. Work one double crochet cluster. Move into the next chain one space. Again work one more double crochet cluster. And into the third chain one space. Work. Two double crochet clusters. So this is the sequence of this round. So just continue with this pattern till the end of the round, and just see to that all the double crochet clusters are separated with chain one spaces. So the fourth row is done and by the end of the fourth row the total number of double crochet clusters that i have are 24 which are separated with 24 chain one spaces now for the fifth row slip stitch into the chain one space and the sequence of this uh, row is to work one cluster into the first three chain one spaces followed by an increase that is two cluster into the fourth space so work one chain and going into the chain one space work a cluster move into the next chain one space again work a cluster move into the third chain one space work one more cluster and into the fourth chain one space work two clusters all into the same space so this is the sequence that will be following for the entire round so just continue with this pattern till the end of the round So the fifth row is done and by the end of the fifth row the total number of double crochet clusters that we have are 30 and since we are working a chain one after every double crochet cluster so the total number of uh, chain one spaces are also the same that is 30 now we'll be working with the sixth row and the sixth row is the last row of increases slip stitch inside the chain one space and work one chain and the sequence of this row is to work one double crochet cluster into the first four chain one spaces followed by an increase that is two double crochet cluster into the 
fifth chain one space. So into the first four chain one spaces, I have worked one double crochet cluster each. Now moving to the fifth chain one space, I'll be working two double crochet clusters into the same space. So this is the sequence of this round. Just continue with this pattern till the end of the round. So the 6th row is done and by the end of the 6th row, the total number of double crochet clusters followed by chain 1 spaces are 36. Now we will be working with the 7th row. For the 7th row, slip stitch inside the chain 1 space and work 1 chain. And the sequence of this row is to work 1 double crochet cluster followed by 1 chain into each of the chain 1 spaces. So in this round, we won't be working with increases. So going to the same space. Work one cluster. Followed by one chain. Moving to the next chain one space. Again work a cluster. So this is a sequence that will be uh, following for the entire round. So I completed with my 7th row and by the end of the 7th row, the total number of double crochet clusters are 36. Now from here on, the next 5 rows, row 8 to row 12, will be repeating with the row 7, that is into each of the chain 1 spaces, we need to make 1 double crochet clusters followed by 1 chain. So once I am done with my 12th row, I shall get back. So here I am done with my 12th row and by the end of the 12th row, the total number of double crochet clusters are the same that is 36. Now we shall work with our uh, 13th row. Now as I mentioned earlier, after working few rows, you can see the pattern is getting into its shape. For the 13th row, slip stitch inside the chain 1 space. Work 1 chain and the sequence of this round is to work. 3 double crochets into each of the chain 1 spaces. So going to the first space, work 3 double crochets. Going to the next, again work 3 double crochets. So just continue working 3 double crochets per chain 1 space till the end of the row. After working 3 double crochets into the last chain 1 space, slip stitch into the first double crochet worked. So that completes our 13th row. Now the next 3 rows that is from row 14 to row 16, we will be working with front post and back post double crochet stitches. So work 1 chain and going to the first stitch, work 1 front post double crochet. Into the next, work 1 more front post double crochet. Into the next 2 stitches, we will be working 1 back post double crochet each. Into the next two, work one front post double crochet each. So this is the sequence, working two front post and two back post double crochets alternately till the end of the round. Now 
After working one back post double crochet into last two stitches, I have slip stitched on top of the first stitch worked. So that completes our 14th row. Now the next two rows, that is row 15 and row 16, is same as row 14. So work one chain and into the first two stitches, which is a front post, we'll be working a front post. Followed by one back post into next two stitches. So we need to continue with the same pattern sequence for the next two rows. So once I'm done with my row 16, I shall get back. So here I'm done with my uh, 16th row and since that was the final row, I've cut my yarn. So we are almost completed with our uh, baby hat. Now we are pending with uh, two important tasks and they are, as you can see for this uh, hat, I have worked the cords. These cords approximately measure about 25 cm. Also, I have done a pretty flower and sewed it on top of the hat. The tutorials for both of these are already there in our channel. I shall give the link of the same below in the description box for your reference. So, I will just uh, quickly work out the cords as well as the flowers and get back. So, here I have worked with my cords as well as the flower and I have joined the cord on the base row of the hat. So that completes our baby hat for a 6 to 12 months old baby. Now as I mentioned earlier, the one that I have done over here is for a 12 to 18 months. So the steps that we need to follow is the same as I have done in the tutorial. But the only uh, difference is in the hook size. For uh, doing this hat, I had used a 3.5 mm crochet hook. And for doing this one, I had used a 4 mm crochet hook. So the details of uh, how to work out this hat for the babies in other age groups will be given in the description box. So you can just go through it and work the hat according to the age of the baby. So that's all for today's tutorial. I hope you found it uh, really very useful. In case of any queries, please let me know through comments. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.